Bonjour à tous, hey everybody. So yesterday I uploaded an interview in French. Now that happened because it was for a class. I basically had a partner. Her name was Megan, and she's really nice. As a part of my program and in my classes, and. What we had to do was interview someone from the region and make a video about it. So that is what that was. Um, for those of you who do not speak French, the interviewee, I guess, uh, was someone named Louis Secondi. He is an author who writes about the history and culture of not only Montpellier, but the region surrounding Montpellier, which used to be in Languedoc Roussillon, uh, but has now been combined with another region to make the new region that we're using now, uh, L'Occitanie. Um, and he writes more specifically on the places closer to Montpellier, uh, within the same what's known in French as the département, departments. Uh, you can think of them as counties in a state uh, for translating to the US. <coughs> Basically the way the French system works is you have your national, then you have your regions, then you have your département, and then it's cities. And going down in there, the municipalities and the metropole Metropolis, polis, metropolis, how do you say it in English? <laughs> when you know how to say something in one language and not the other. <laughs> so basically I interviewed him with my friend Megan and she, we basically asked him questions about why he does what he does. He is also a teacher. He gives talks and lectures to students and it's all on history and everything. As it turns out, he's also written... He's written 26 books in total. That's a lot. And he's coming up with another one, like, really soon. He showed us a sneak peek of his draft. I felt so special. He was like, oh yeah, this is the book I'm currently working on. And he showed it to us. Oh, we got a sneak peek. It was so cool. And he's such a sweetie. He's the kind of old person you just want to hug and drink tea with. It was great. And we were able to talk to him about what he loved the most about Montpellier and why he does what he does. And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. That is actually the cut version of that. I will be uploading a full version of that interview because everything he said is so interesting uh, at some point when I get the chance and that will replace a daily vlog um, like yesterday's did and that will be up hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. In other news, my my book that I'm writing, it's not really a book, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's now, like, 24 sheets of this. It is, it, it's getting out of control. It's 29 pages on Word. I, when you care about a story you're writing, more than your homework. Th th there's a problem. This happens far more often than I'd like to admit. <laughs> but that is basically what I have been up to. Just finished chapter 7 on that. Hello! And I have been putting it up online on some creative writing sites. And so far it's gotten some solid reviews. One person said it was a really interesting way to write it and that they that it stood out because of my writing style, which is awesome. I love that. And 
So hopefully that'll happen and be fine. Musical I'm writing that I talked about like two weeks ago and haven't talked about since. It's going okay. I'm just... I don't know how to write a musical. Like, I can write songs. I can write individual songs, but I don't know how to weave them all together into this show. I've written screenplays before. I've written individual songs. So really, you think it'd just be a matter of squishing it together. It's not that simple. And it's just... It's hard for me because I've never done this before, number one. Uh, number two, the when you h listen to a musical soundtrack, there is usually a theme within that song. Phantom of the Opera, it is always, in every song, there is the difference between high notes, low notes, light and dark the tones of them um even the song that not really characters singing um i'm thinking of right now of think of me uh where christine makes her debut as a singer rather than a dancer even in that song you hear that same kind of theme pop out the light and the dark remembering someone and loving those memories but also the sorrow that comes with never being able to experience it again the that play of those themes is what makes that music so good and it's continuous through all of the songs i don't know if i can do that i don't know if i'm that good at this <laughs> i'm gonna try anyway we'll see i just have to figure out a system of how to actually write this frustrating. It was great. It makes my head hurt. It makes my head hurt in the best possible way. This is a real challenge for me and I haven't had a creative challenge in a while. Academic challenges, yes. Creative one, not so much. Not so much. Also, I've got an idea for another story, which did not need to happen, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> what am I going to do with myself? I can't keep doing this. I have too much homework to do. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But until then, do better at prioritizing than me. Okay? Okay. Oh well. Bye everybody.